Hey guys, welcome back for the final Savoy video. So during this, we are at Motor Trends Roadkill Nights presented by Dodge, and we're actually getting to put the Savoy to the test because it is race day. So this was for the Influencer Hellcat Grudge Match. Um, eight of the influencers raced, and then I raced the winner of that, so that way we could figure out who the champ was gonna be. Um, this was probably the race that I was the most nervous for. Like out of all the events that I've been a part of, this was the the event that made me um, super anxious that day. So yes, this is a little bit old video. All the build videos for the car are out. Um, this is coming out, you know, a while after the event, but that is because um, the build of the Savoy is condensed and put on Motor Trend Plus um, for Hot Rod Garage. And then this week, the finale or the mid-season finale where we actually raced the Savoy on the on the show it just came out so I wanted to wait until that came out um, to put this out for you guys but it's a totally different take so check this out and then if you get bored head over to Hot Rod Garage um, I'll put the link below for Motor Trend Plus so you can stream it and that's below but that's why it's so late so don't come at me it was intentional but anyways let's get to it kicking off roadkill nights today bright and early got out here and headed over to the skid pad to do burnouts and drifts and make smoke basically with our friends over at roadkill so lucky and i headed out there i drove the crown hick and got to do some donuts which helped me get my anxiety worked out for the day um just headed over to the peak booth and sat at the 55 so it's out here gonna be doing a signing in the peak booth so today is really busy um it's back to back on the schedule we'll be jumping all around but um, the main thing that's on my mind heavy right now is later is the Hellcat Grudge Match, which is exactly what we built the Savoy for. And uh, honestly, that's all that'll be on my mind until that's done. And uh, it's got me antsy and nervous, but in a good kind of way. So the time is almost here. It's the day of. I have way too much energy right now, but we're going to make it work. All you got to do is clutch your legs and you hit if you don't even touch your clutch after that. It's not easy. It's all. Somebody's done a lot of money on training. But you just got to get that, you know, there's just that, where you got to get it was a struggle kept messing shifts we kept finding different things and reasons and what was making it a little bit harder to hit those shifts um, when we went into race day that morning was so hectic I woke up and I'm not necessarily like I'm a very high strung person but I'm not super super anxious um, but I, I felt like I was going to puke all morning because this race, which you'll understand in a little bit, had so much riding on it. It was so important. It wasn't just for the title. 
there's just a lot riding on it um, with building the car on the show and like pushing to build it to the extent that we did and things like that like there was a lot riding on it and so I felt a lot of pressure and that morning we had so many things to do I had to go here and there and all of that like I, I have a lot of fun with and I really enjoy it but I knew that I needed to be on the track and so as I was up doing some commentary um, I believe with KJ I realized that the other influencers were out on the track and I, I didn't think we could be so we didn't even have our car out on the street and so once I saw they were practicing I realized we needed to be out there so I hurried ran got the car and we all rushed over and pretty much had a couple minutes and then went and lined up so my nerves were shot like I was all over the place and that doesn't help anything um so I went out and missed my one two shift and that was a little bit frustrating just because I was frustrated with myself for not doing better but I quickly like realized I had to sit sit down regroup think about it dad and Jim Sams and I ran through um, you know different ways to go about it um, different processes and then I just sat down and practiced and practiced and figured out partly that our new spanner wrench shifter that we had to add because the other one didn't work shift hander, shift handle um, it had a lot of flex to it so I was pushing but it wasn't um, my movement was not you know one-to-one -one. so once we figured that out it really helped but it was that first pass that one got me Okay. All right, 
Alright, so we have finally got the car somewhat worked out. So we've made two, three test hits today. The first one was just a mess because I missed a gear. Got really in my head how I do and I was like a little bit frustrated because I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. I think I finally figured it out. So we've got two passes since then with plenty of time to cool the clutch down in between so we're not hurting stuff. The second to last pass, I hit every gear, but the car likes to dance a little bit on the top end, so we got that figured out. Finally felt good, great shifts, everything was smooth, the car went straight, didn't dance too much, didn't break up on the top end, so we'll see, it's still anybody's race, but I finally feel more confident in myself driving, so that's been something I've been battling because I don't, I've never driven a, raced a stick, I mean I can drive a manual, but I've never raced a manual, totally different beast, lots of different nuances, but um, it's going good, so I finally feel calm because I was, I was way too high strung earlier today. So let me see your nails. I, I had black nails and they were a lot longer. They're gone. So not only are you racing for superstar but you're also racing for this amazing trophy that was created by the motorcycle queen Ray Ripple. All right, weighs 35 pounds. They fucking discount your clout. That's just downright shameful. What are you guys doing? She had clout. I'm telling you. I'll admit her fans. I'll tell you. Ten minutes. Here we go. One shot. Ladies and gentlemen, please Solid. welcome, give all the, your undivided attention to this young man right here. He is the race director. Please Hi, give it up for Matt. Matt Hi guys, Ray. how are you guys doing? Woo! We have all eight of you here, yes? Raise your hand. Eight of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So game plan, we'll do heads up racing, obviously. Um, we'll do chip draw and then first round call outs first. So if you've got someone you want to call first round, let's do it. All right, so for the actual race portion, I don't have the rounds on video, but the way it was set up was there was eight influencers and they went through racing each other, um, eliminations, and the first round you could do call outs. So a couple of them called each other out and then there was a chip draw. And then from there, it was just a chip draw. So um, it got down to the end with Throttle with the Viper and Weston um, with the Challenger. I honestly thought the guys from, de uh, not Demonology, thought the guys from uh, Corrupt Builds with the Barracuda would have been in the finals and I thought that would probably be who I was racing. They had a mishap on their last, their, the pass they made against Weston and um, he missed a shift and so that took him out. So Throttle and Weston raced and then Weston actually won, which surprised me but I was proud of him, but it's, it did surprise me. That's not who I thought would, I would be racing. So um, he was the winner of the influencer portion. So like the uh, Hellcrat grudge match influencer part, he was the winner out of those eight, but then me and him raced for the overall championship, I guess. It's, it's kind of confusing. It was confusing when it happened because people didn't really understand how he got an award and I won and all of that. But Ray Ripple, she's awesome. She rides motorcycles, super cool chick, makes really cool art and welding and fabricate. She's, she's awesome. She made a trophy, so I was able to present that to Weston and then me and him went to battle. It's pretty cool. If you wanna see more though, of the actual races and the rounds and the pairing, head over to Motor Trend Plus and stream it because it gives a great breakdown of the race. Holding back, buddy. You're holding back. We know what you're doing. I, I don't know what I'm you're doing. You're gonna let it eat now. You're gonna turn the nitrous on now, right? Oh, oh wow. it was on. <laughs> it was on for that. You know? <laughs> So I am getting ready to race. I'm going to be racing Weston in the final, which is very surprising to me. But it's going to be a good time regardless, and we're getting ready to see what this car can do. Do the thing. Well, good luck. Uh, yeah, good luck. Thanks, buddy. You too. Your seatbelt's a little tighter than mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do we have well, I'll tell you what. My, mine's just like, you know, just regular quick. It, bing, it dings at me if I don't put it on, you know? It's got it. It's I mean, it does. It dings at me. It gets annoying. Does yours ding? Yeah. 
Okay. In my head. <laughs> <laughs> Back, hold on, I need to put that on. Who's gonna call in the air? Uh, okay. Go. Ladies' choice. Um, you hear that? Call in the air. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, Jim Sims. All right. Left. Left lane. You got right lane. Well, she's been all reliable. I guess she's gonna have to do it one more time. Okay. Hey, ten minutes. Me, ten minutes. Only give you ten, so okay. we, don't have, we don't have the extra time. Ten all right. Minutes. Well, I'll see if my car starts in ten minutes. Okay. Ten all minutes. Right. All right. I'll day one thirty. She can.
and that is a wrap for this this race this um intense month-long build we built this car in 28 days start to finish and don't forget we went through um circumstance after circumstance that made it harder and harder so dad and greg peterson came out and uh, we ended up in our quarantine garage and it, it's just looking back it's it's a while that it played out how it did but um our crew at hot rod garage there's some good guys there and some good girls and they uh, we all we all busted it but um huge thank you to greg and dad because they were there we were there night and day to get the car done and so with that said this race was really important when i started the video i was talking about how this meant a lot and it wasn't just a win or a title or trying to be the back-to-back -back champ because all that's really important but to me this was important because this was when the show crossed over to something that i'm passionate about and something that is my life and that's racing and um so when this all came about i was like we have to build a car that's super competitive it's not just a show car at that point it's a competition car and so you build differently for that. Things are different and the amount of time spent on it's different and the kind of parts and products that you buy and put in the car are different. And so it's adjusting and that's not something, you know, that the show typically does, which is fine, but it's they're, they're different worlds. And so going into it, it was something that kept me up at night because I was so passionate about making what that world was, the Hot Rod Garage world, coincide with the world that dad and I live in for racing and and building in that way. So along the way, we all kind of had to learn together how to do it. And I had, I knew that if we could be successful with what we built as a team and we went to the event and we won, they would feel what it was about. Like I knew they would understand. But if we lost, I knew that there was potential that it would hurt what they um, might feel. Because this was, you know, the first time some of them had experienced something like this in this kind of competition. And so for me, I wanted to be able to convey that feeling and like why it fuels me and why it makes me want to continue doing it and what that competition's about and the intensity and I just wanted to be able to convey that and so it was my job at that point like everybody else had done their job up to that point of like getting the car ready and everything but it was my job from there on to drive and make it play out how it needed to and so that's why it was so important and um it thankfully it did um super thankful for everybody that was involved um like i said big thanks to dad and greg hot rod garage crew lucky um and motor trend for making this happen and allowing it to happen so uh thanks guys and uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it there's more coming up dad and i we've been brainstorming and we have lots of different projects we want to do. There's going to be um, like a new engine and transmission build series coming up for the 55, but we want to do a new car at some point and we just got all kinds of ideas. So we're not slowing down, but it was fun to get to put more build videos out. So anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head over to Motor Trend Plus to stream the episodes that are out of Hot Rod Garage and um, stay tuned for more to come. And as always, be happy, go fast, and stay pretty. I will see you guys next time. So very worth it moment. You guys want? What? Oh, I just thought you guys were going to hop in or something. No. Anyways, super worth it. Uh, to this all the hard moment work. was great. It was super worth it. Over. It was super worth it. The crew is awesome, mm -hmm. you know. Thanks, guys. Oh, we're making all that. We're getting in trouble. Oopsie.